intel was right. Ultron Sigma has two of the infinite six. Uncle Ben, miss you. I'll do my best to make you proud. Wow. Well, hello everyone. Resnick Tell Shadow here, and today we're uh, doing another Let's Play of Marvel's Spider-Man. So you're gonna see in some of my other videos that everything was kind of just all over the place. I was talking to my friend G. He, he'll be in the in the, probably in the last video. Um, and while with that being said, I was doing uh, bases and challenges and stuff to get the, uh, the rest of the suits and also the secret photos. Unfortunately, they're not all the secret photos are going to be in the video. But uh, we're going to go talk to May since we haven't seen her since the incident. And yes, this is the outfit that you get from all the secret photos. This is Stable Control. What's the situation in Korea Sound? Armored Patrol reporting in. No sign of the target. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> no. I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Beth. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. That's I'm not... Fine, Peter. <sighs> Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? <coughs> Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. <laughs> Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. What is Miles doing? Because he made one stupid crack about the guy's suit. Freaking intense. Dude's got issues, man. Big ones. I heard that. Need to distract him. Hacking app should work. What was that? Got a few seconds.
should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Antibiotics. I need to keep looking. This can stop right now. Just give us the locations and schedules for your supplies. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. I hate watching Benson Whale. Turns my stomach. Just give us the why are the super dudes so set on taking out these relief systems? They want to show how weak he is, that he can't protect the city. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Yeah, man. This stuff will be worth a fortune on the black market. Come on. Let's keep digging through it. Could be the new fisk. Cable guys give up the depot locations? Eventually, yeah. Now the big guy's taking the station town all by himself. This place is Russian blood. Another supply tent. Crossing fingers. A couple trauma kits. No antibiotics. <clears throat> Somewhere. Looks like they're gonna divvy up the supplies. You're pushing it, dude. Gotta avoid that sniper. Bro, relax. Let's dance. Supplies. Oh, come on, Crate, be the one. Moxicillin. Perfect. That is a very large man. How in the hell is this guy so big? On the exploding bulldozer. Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Did not need to see that.
Ford is right past them. I oh, see you. Oh. oh, Jesus. Well, I, I... Yep, I was discovered. to the exit. Let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha. <laughs> Kids right. got guts. Hip square. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. Come on. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. Pussy. Nice going, Miles. Got to work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. 
If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. If anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. Yep, already on it. Any more side quests that I need to do before this? No? Alright. So, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and fight Rhino. To the best of my knowledge, I think there's two more outfits. The one that we saw earlier uh, with the undies, and then the anti-ox suit. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, cool. 
Here we go. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, God, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. Promise you, Scorpion. Mother, Gargan has no principle. He fights for profit. Untrue. I ripped Spider-Man's face off for free. The money. Oh yeah. Looks like the spider wins after all. Come here, Ouch. I will teach you to throw real punch. My jaw's already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Need to get along. What Octavius will do if he finds out you failed. I failed. Yes, you freak show. A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. Right. Dang All right, Yuri, match. that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. 
If this devil's mm. breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. You two play nice now. My friends, the Rhino and the Scorpion are back behind bars. But only after wreaking unimaginable havoc in a reckless rampage with Spider-Man. Hopefully, they'll never see daylight again. But we need to be ready if they do. Normal humans can't stand them. Hey, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Here we go. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. Have people been waiting down here long? No, no. Only one or two hours. We all greatly appreciate Sable International's generous assistance with security. Has the penthouse been affected? Oh, my, no. The new security room in the back of the lobby ensures that the mayor remains totally undisturbed. He'll never survive. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Maybe. I've seen Osborne survive worse. He is a cockroach. An arrogant cockroach in a starch suit. Don't let us to stop him, baby. They'll lock you up. I'd like to see them try. I don't understand why we had to clear the entire floor. It's because Sable took over building security. Routine sweep, they're calling. Checking for weapons or explosives or something. All this just to make Osborne feel safer. Mayor Osborne really lives here? I never seen him. Yeah, that elevator goes straight to his penthouse. Pretty sure he's up there right now. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. 
Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Ugh. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. I've been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Uh, Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Got movement, stand by. Good boy. Damn. Don't you Sable offers workman's comp? Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Watch. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. House elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Whoa. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Right. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. 
Work order for key padlock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. I want to check everything. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. It's so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. The fabulous Osborne boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms, and a motto. Pax in Bellow, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Hmm. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Looks like that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. The city's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. There's gotta be something around here. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. Harry's room, but it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. We can look for it out here. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. 
especially today. I put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, M. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? I want to know, too. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? That's weird. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score. This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Hmm. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. And on top of that, he has two pools. There's a jacuzzi and a pool. to be an environmental attorney like his mom Harry's journal his last entry is marked July 18 that must be the code to that room leaving for Europe today huh not so sure how this is gonna go dad said there's no risk but that's dad Dr. Michaels thinks it's more like 50-50, so, okay, I might not make it, if that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You'll probably be reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if no risk at all, it turns out to be another... Osborne campaign promised and do me a favor show this n next part to Pete and MJ just them please thanks dad love you to Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson guys I'm really sorry no, guys I'm sorry I'm really sorry if you're reading this 
This is tough. Even an imagined hypothetical letter to you is a hard. It's hard to be honest. Here it goes. I'm sick. Like really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing my mom. Uh, thing, same thing mom had. Neurodegeneration. Rapid onset. I've known for a while, but thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you because, well, because I didn't tell you. I was worried how would you react. And I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with mom. Watching her suffer. No, I couldn't help. Watching her die was the worst than the dying. Things got really bad recently. <sighs> All those times that I was wiped out from partying or just super busy. Not partying. Not busy. Sick. This Europe trip well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment. Experimental, long term. Dad's been working on it forever. Promises it'll work. He hates the nickname. The text have it. Devil's breath. Says it makes something good seem scary. But maybe devil's breath is what I need little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay. Dad's here. Time to go. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready. And I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting somewhere. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Quiet. I hear voices. 